after Brooklyn Night Gallery, we headed to the House of Art Gallery on Lewis Ave for more art-filled inspiration and an event with artist Brian Collier. Artistic inspiration works up an appetite. So we headed to Peaches Down the Block on Lewis Ave for a shrimp po' boy sandwich. Where did you get the name Peaches from? Where did well, well, Peaches is my wife's grandma. Uh, she was just this amazing woman from a small town in North Carolina. Okay. And uh, she made her way through North Carolina into Virginia and then from Virginia up into uh, Philadelphia. Okay. And that's where I met my wife. She was just absolutely incredible. She just gave this incredible sense of, of warmth and, and feeling and, and that's what I wanted Peaches to, to give to Bedside. What's your favorite part about owning a restaurant in Bedside? Well, you know I was born and raised in Bedside. Very few people in Brooklyn or from Brooklyn nowadays, yeah. but like, uh, <laughs> like, well, like like you, like like most of the people who work for me. Yeah. Um, but I, I was. It, it's great to see what Bed Stuy has become in the last few years. You know, all of Brooklyn has really had its resurgence as uh, you know not just a restaurant community, but a food community and art artistic community. Mm -hmm. So all of these things are going on, and being a part of that, especially in my home neighborhood, is just phenomenal. I, I would certainly hope that people come to Peaches because we preserve the spirit of the, you know, of Peaches. Yeah. You know, I I think when you come and I have a customer who refers to Peaches as I can't I can't say. Wow. Why can't you say it? It's not gonna work. It's, It'll it's, work it, for my show. No, it it, it, won't. <laughs> it it won't. I think I know what you're gonna say, but that's what, what what am I gonna say? Because I, I I'll, I'll 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 if you know, then I'll say it. I don't know what's what's the appropriate term to say this on camera. <laughs> now you understand where I'm coming from. Name one word to describe bed and why that word. <laughs> the word that came to mind I'm not going to use. Um, because it means a, it means a, a wonderful thing to me, but uh, in, in the, in the well, real okay, world. Okay, what's the word? Say you keep it. holding back, Craig. I am, no, I, I, am, I, am, <laughs> I am holding back. What word would I use to describe bed -Stuy? It's fabulous. Why fabulous? You know, I. Sustainable. I'm trying to help out because I know he doesn't want to say community because that's it means so much. That's the word yeah, you were thinking that's of. Not the word I was going to use, but I was going to talk about the community. All right. Tag team. Oh. Now I'm Come here on, with Ben. First, first time that's ever happened on this show. <laughs> I think it's a vibrant community. I think a lot of people would use one word, community. Yeah. Uh, but. I think there is so much that bed -Stuy has to offer to everybody. A place to live, a place to have a tight-knit group of people, a place to have fun, a place to exercise, the YMCA, a place to learn, all the different groups that are around here. And to have my restaurant here, partnered with Craig, is just unbelievable. Yeah. What is the cuisine of Peaches? Is it Southern? Is it... What is Peaches okay. has evolved. When we first opened Peaches, it was a Southern American restaurant. Now it has become a neighborhood restaurant. Okay. Uh, we have food on there that appeals to a, we a wide range of people. Mm -hmm. Because we are a neighborhood restaurant. We have a burger, which is one of the best burgers in the city. 
We have wings. Yeah. We have chicken tenders, which seems to be one of our things. But we also no, we have shrimp and grits. We have boboys. We have catfish. We have ribs. We have a whole bunch of food that appeals to a wide range of people. And we try to serve great quality for a good price and serve it in a great environment, which I think yeah. peaches is.